If you've watched any of my videos, you'll know I love taking an overhead camera shot. This can be a real pain because the tripod legs obscure the shot. So what I end up doing is leaning the tripod over to the point where it would fall, except that I tie it up with some yarn. Every time I would do the shot, I had to tie the tripod up and it's not very secure and I was always afraid it was just gonna simply fall over on its face. So I decided there has to be a better way of doing this and I started looking for camera rigs. Well, they're all very large and we live in a 650 square foot apartment and I wanted something I could store away easily. So then I came up with an idea of how I could make a very simple, inexpensive, camera rig to shoot overhead. So let's get started. This is everything you'll need for this build. A tripod, an aluminum box tube, a wing nut, some washers to use as a counterweight, a coupling nut, and a carriage bolt and nut, as well as an Allen head bolt and a ball head. The total cost of this was $24.15, excluding the ball head and the tripod, which I already had. I cut the box tube to 24 inches long using my hacksaw. And then I cleaned up the end with a file. You want to drill a hole in the middle of the box tube for connecting to the tripod. First I drilled this with an eighth inch bit. Then I came back and drilled the one side to a quarter inch and the other side to a half inch. On both ends of the box tube, I measured one half inch in and once again drilled through with an eighth inch drill bit. I like to use a smaller size drill bit at first because it makes it easier to drill the larger hole. Drill the hole in the one end of the box tube to 5 16 inches and the hole in the other end of the box tube to one quarter inch. Since the carriage bolt needs a square hole on the one end, I used the Dremel tool with a carbide cutter to do this. After fitting the carriage bolt, I fastened it down with a nut The tripod shoe is attached to the middle of the bar using the coupling nut. And finally, the ball head is attached to the far end of the bar using the one quarter inch Allen head bolt. Once attached to the tripod, you can add the counterweight washers to the carriage bolt. This is the completed rig. Uh, I did make a few adjustments. I added a second stack of washers. Uh, the reason for that is, as you can see, the camera ends up being heavier than the washer counterweight. Uh, right now, the pivot point is directly in the middle of the 24 inch bar, but this amount of washers was still not enough, so I decided to drill a second hole and shift it off a little bit. So let's move it to there. Now you're seeing that the balance is much better. Uh, we're a little heavy on this end. should do it. You can see we're perfectly balanced. We can move the camera up and down and simply adjust the head as we as we do that. I was a little concerned that this thing wouldn't be sturdy enough to do stop motion with but overall it's pretty solid. I'm gonna have more fun projects like this coming up in the future so click the subscribe button down below. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it and that is it.